Hey guys, Chris Funk here. I'm going to take out the Kusa FD for my second time. Just want to give you all a rundown. You know, we're not going to talk a whole lot of depth about the boat because you don't want to hear about the accessories. It's a typical Jackson that comes with a pile of accessories. I know you guys, this is what you want to hear about. You want to hear about the guts of what's going to make the FD special to you. I got to admit, I'm a paddler. I am not a peddler. So this is going to be interesting for me. I'm going to have to see how it fits in my fleet. You know, that's going to have to see if it can grow on me or not. But we're going to take it out. We're going to kick the tires on it, talk about it a little bit on the water, and let you see what, what goes on behind the FD. All right, guys, the number one thing whenever you're putting this rascal together, there can be no gap at all here. See how that's flush, metal to metal? That's exactly like it needs to be. So, and the bolt comes in here on both sides, fastens down, and there you go. All right, this is just a quick top shot, y'all. Just want to show you. This is how it goes in the, in the uh, stowed position and locks for trailering. So you can raise this up and lower your lower unit into the medium and then the high position. I know a lot of people are concerned about the opening. This comes back and locks back so you don't drop anything through the hole. But to get it back up into the low position, right there, put it right in there, you're good to go on your trailer, you're good to go on your truck, whatever you need to do. Pretty, pretty nifty setup. All right, y'all, here's your rudder. You can see the good thing is if something happens to it, it'll float. And this is where it's gonna go. It's gonna come up from the bottom and the pin's gonna go in there. You see both rods here. You're probably gonna wanna keep these lubed. I think a silicone spray will work well. But uh, it's got dual controls and I kinda like that because you know, fighting a fish or wanting to change position one hand over another sometimes is a little easier than, than the other one. So. Pretty cool system here. I'm impressed with this part so far. Still have your back hatch, and of course the new latches that I, I love so much. So we're ready to go. All right, all right, y'all. We hit a shallow spot back there. The drive did exactly like it was designed to do. It popped right back up into the boat. No damage done to it. So that was a good thing to check. The other thing I wanted to check was how well it paddled, and I'm surprised to say it paddles a whole lot better than I anticipated it. Once again, I'm a paddler, not a peddler, so. Maybe I'm a little bit more biased for this, but it's not a bad paddling boat at all. All right, paddles hooked back up. I'm going to deploy the drive again. Go ahead for the low position because I'm in deeper water. Steering takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, I wish the steering knobs were a little bit longer for me, but if, you, if I push the right forward, I go to the right. If I push the left forward, I go to the left. I get that confused sometimes, but it seems to be really, really cool as far as, as once I get it there, it, it's very responsive. Uh, it doesn't want to turn very well in reverse, but I guess that's to be expected. All right, noise-wise, I don't know how well the microphone can pick it up, but there's a little bit of a yow, yow noise when I'm, but it's not bad. It's not annoying. I don't think it's anything that would spook a critter. I just wanted y'all to know about that. There's a little bit more noise. If you go in reverse, I guess due to the cavitation. Definitely a little bit more of a noise in the half position just from the prop, I guess, being so close to the surface. So you need to think about that if you're trying to be stealthy and stalking on the flats in the shallow position. You see with a good set of legs on you, you can make the rascal move pretty good. It's been fairly easy keeping it at a solid three mile an hour at a normal pace. I mean, I'm not killing myself. Just going along where I can control where I'm going. Uh, I'm not sure on a sprint. I guess we'll check that out here shortly. But all right, I was able to make it four mile an hour on a sustain four and a half on a good burst for a little while uh but y'all didn't want to see my white legs do that i can promise you um the the i'm running the medium pitch which is the factory setting on the prop right now the this is adjustable it has a 
a low pitch for uh, less speed but also less torque it's a little easier to, pa to, to pedal and it's got a higher pitch for or for a higher speed but a little bit more difficulty to paddle now, all that's changeable in here with with tools and, and little shims that go inside the blades so uh, of course you wouldn't want to do that on the water but it's definitely doable uh, it doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to do it either so but so far it's been pretty cool uh, you know on the setting that it's at now I, I think it's 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 a good balance between comfort and speed and it does what i what i need it to so i'm, I'm impressed so far all right when you're paddling this is where you paddle stoves but when you're paddling take your rudder and lock it in the straight position right there and that way you can paddle straight oh yeah yes i'm still a kid and i still like doing that <laughs> All right, well, paddling, definitely interesting. You know, I'm, I'm so used to having my rods between my feet, my tackle between my feet, my cameras between my feet, that this is gonna be in my way. I could promise you that. So I'm gonna have to get a little used to that. But it's definitely a different thing. I can see the exercise aspect of it being really cool. I mean, because Lord knows how boring is an exercise bike, and you can't troll off of an exercise bike. So, I mean, you could you could work on your gut, throw a few rods off the back, and pull a rapala through the lake, and, and call it exercise. Your wife would approve. <laughs> Jackson Kusa FD for my first real, real, real time in it. I got to admit, I'm impressed. It hasn't taken the paddle out of my hands yet, but I am impressed. 